What's going on everybody? Welcome back to The Crazy One. Now today what I want to do is another Kino tutorial and what I want to be able to show you how to do is this. This agenda slide. Colorful. Simple. Impactful. I know what you may be thinking to yourself, Steve, you know what I've been really wanting to design, what really gets me excited are agenda slides. Well we're going to talk about why that's important I'm going to show you how to do all of this right now. Let's get into it. So today we're going to dive into another Kino tutorial and we're going to build that agenda slide I showed you just a couple seconds ago. And like I said, look, I know not a lot of people get very excited over maybe a slide like an agenda. But here's why I think it's important. And I think just because whenever you think about it, it's something that happens at the beginning of your presentation. It's something most people take in for granted. It's something most people don't get excited about. Those are the moments I love. Those are the moments that I really pay attention to because I think those are the moments to really wake people up, to really give them an idea of what's coming, to be able to show that you pay attention to the details, the, the design, and all these sort of things matter. Because if you just do it like everybody else, it's a plain slide with a couple bullets on it, yeah, it can be just like everybody else. But like I said, as I think if you want to become better at presenting, if you want to have more impactful presentations, it isn't just the design. It's the content, and it's thinking about moments like this to create something that's really going to grab their attention without you ever even saying a word. So, enough about all that. Let's jump into Keynote and take a look at how we actually get this thing built. Okay, so here we are back in Keynote. Now let's get started really simply because what we saw was we had four rectangles that were in the background. Each was a different color, so the best place to start there is probably to make four rectangles. So what we'll do is we'll drag all those out, get those so there's just a little space between them. Get that over a little bit more. One last one. Okay, and then what I do with this just is a sort of a simple cheat. Take all those, go up here, group them together, zoom out just a little bit, drag these out to the edges. So now what we're able to do, just like that, snaps into place. Make sure that's centered both ways. Done. Okay, now what we're able to do is we actually have something we can create some guides with. So if you go up here, view, guides, you can either show or hide those. In this case, we already have them out. Let's zoom back in to make that a little bit easier. Now what I wanna be able to do is just drag these out. I'm gonna put these right in the center of each one of these. So that now what I have is just this simple guide so I can see where the columns are. Well, as you also can remember, each one of these sort of gets twice as big. Whenever it has its moment in the spotlight, it gets twice as big. So the other thing that we're gonna to wanna to be able to do is to quickly drag out these half guides because then that will give us some way of knowing what is twice as big. So that's an easy thing for us to be able to check on. Get that one done just right. And that one looked like it was just a pixel off because I am OCD about how I do this. Okay. Now, let's get rid of these. Let's zoom in and make one that is exactly the right size. So all you need to do is just come in, drag that bar over, let it snap in place, over, snap in place. I laughed, I cried, it was better than cats. Again, just duplicate each one of these. You'll see them snap right into place as we get there. Done, one more, done. Okay, easy peasy. So this is the starting point. Now, what I would tell you to do here is there's a couple tricks because once again, Keynote doesn't always like to cooperate. So there's a few little things as you start to animate these and use magic move that I think make it a lot easier. The first is to put the colors in place because I think whenever you know Keynote can see when things are different colors, it helps it with those. So what we're gonna do here is just quickly go through format, color picker, pick that, blue, make that one purple. What's going on there? No, no, that should have worked. Purple, other blue, and finally the last one is orange. Now, the other little trick that I do here is that sometimes with these, Keynote gets confused about what's what, meaning it will start to confuse objects. So if we make this and build it, and one of these is twice the size than the other one, you'd think it would just be able to go through, tell the difference between all of them. 
But sometimes what you'll watch it'll do is it instead of animating them nice and smoothly where they all move, it gets confused and it says, oh, those are two or close enough to the same size. So what we'll do is we'll just flip them. Now to be able to prevent that, a simple thing that I'll often do, and I'll go and show you how to hide this later, is to make sure that it doesn't, is to do this. What you can see underneath there is I just put a little number. So if you just double click on the shape, it'll let you type into it and just number them one, two, three, four. This will prevent any of that confusion from happening. Cause you know, there is animating in Keynote is a bit more of an art than a science. Now what I'm gonna need to do is to create four different states. So what I said is the focused one, so in this case, the first one, we want that to be twice as big. Okay, cool. That means that the rest of these then, and again, group them together, need to be half as big. Group them, make them half as big, snap to that counter, slide this back up. And now what I wanna do is to go in here again, transition, add an effect, magic move, and it doesn't work. So why doesn't it work? Because, and I, I do this stuff on purpose because I think it is important for you to see the mistakes as much as anything else. When this happens, you're not lost because too many times people run through this and it's all perfect. That's not the case here. Well, if you think about it, again, we have four separate objects here. So what Keynote is looking at is doing is to transition to four separate objects. It only has two because remember, we group these two together. So now whenever I ungroup these, now magically it works perfectly. But I think those are those little things that sometimes you're sitting there and like banging your head against the screen about why didn't that work? That's why. Okay, so now let's go back, shift this around. We're gonna be able to just drag this down. And what I'm looking for here is you see, uh, let me see if I can get that trick. Okay, you see when you get the little yellow arrows up there, that's gonna let me know that now it's the same size as these other two. An easier way to probably do it is let's make the big one first. So let's drag that out until we see there at the top again. This is like gymnastics. Okay, now we have, the, so the purple one's the right size. Let's drag this down so that now we get the blue one. That's the right size, perfect. I'll blow this back up, make it a little bit easier for everybody to see. Okay, so now one's the big one, two's, let's go back, test this out, add an effect, magic move, perfect. Okay, so that works well. That's, just need to match the time. So that's 125. Okay, let's do it one more time. Zoom back out to give me a little more space. So here again, this is now the featured one. Drag this, look for the arrow, bang, there's the arrow. Make the purple one smaller, bang, there's the arrow. Okay, and one last one, orange one, big one. Here again, there's the arrow, blue one, smaller. There's the arrow. Again, magic move. Fix the time, 125, okay, boom, perfect. Okay, so now let's open this, play this in this window. One, two, three, see, three jumps. So again, what do we do? Again, the clue's right there. Blue corner, blue corner, no blue corner. No blue corner means no effect. So go back in, add the effect, fix the time, try it again. Here we go, one, two, three, and four. Just that easy. And if you want to be really fancy, just take the first one, drop it in to the end, add that magic move. And if you want to send it back to the beginning, it's just that simple because they're already gone through and marked out, bang, done. So now within just a couple of minutes, we have this whole thing working. Now, the problem is if you take these numbers out and here, let's see if I can actually make it do it. It's gonna prove me wrong this time and it probably won't work, but again, we'll just try it and see. So let me go through and pull these numbers out because I can just redo it. And let me see if I can make it do it. Do the preview. Okay, that one works. Aha, okay, see, there is the problem. Here, let's, let's make this bigger. As you see here where it trades the squares, this is the problem. That's why I put these numbers in here was because I was afraid of this problem. Yeah, see, now it all looks jacked. That's the problem is because whenever you take these numbers out, so I'm just gonna undo through these and put them back in. That's the problem, is that it's losing the association and now it looks like a mess. You put the numbers back in, now all of a sudden it works perfectly. This is the stuff that will drive you crazy. But the easy way to be able to do this is if you wanna keep them in there, all you have to do is just double click on this again, go into format, go in here into text. Now, the color right now is white. Well, the simplest thing to do is just take it and make this the same color of the square, cause ta-da, it disappears. 
So now this is all that I'm going to need to do. And again, do this first because it'll it'll just make it easier so you don't have to go back and do all this afterwards. I just left them in there so you could see it. But again, just because something's there doesn't mean you have to be able to see it. And this is a lot of the tricks that I try to do are by going through and doing these sort of little cheats where, again, nobody knows it's there because after let me do this last one, take that, bang, make it orange. Okay, so now, again, you can't see them. You don't know they're there. So again, you can go through and do this, but Keynote can still see it. So it knows the numbers are there and it's gonna keep those associations. But just little tricks like this, especially in some of this animation, this is the stuff that makes it hard to do, drives you crazy, do things like that. But that's really it. And so, you know, now the other part of it is, so like, here's the finished one. This was the finished file that I showed. Now it just becomes simple. So, you know, again, let's go out and find some artwork so these are these little icons cool got the icons let's drop those in and let's make them a little bit different sizes so whenever this one is front and center i want to make that center i want to make him a little bit bigger and then we're just going to take these let's take a look and see what those look like these yeah these are going to need to be a little bit smaller so i'm just going to drag those down make them a little bit smaller here again i'm just going to use those reference arrows when i've got them to the same size Bang, same size. Once again, do the same thing. Bang, same size. Perfect. Okay, so now whenever I do that test, it all grows and it looks totally seamless. So again, I think just that simple addition, and again, just use this for sizing. So now whenever I go to the next one, I'm going to do the same thing. Again, just take these as reference if you want to, because again, you've already done a bunch of the work. No need to redo it again. So now I just need to drag this down here. So I just need to change two things instead of four. Well, here again, use this one as reference. Make that one bigger to see the arrows. Bang, arrows match. Make this one smaller until I see the arrows. Bang, matches. Drop it in place. Drop it in place. Test it out. Perfect. Super easy. So that way to be able to do that. Now, the last piece, if you want to do it, obviously, it's an agenda slide, is add some text. So in this case, you really actually need to animate nothing. Now, I've already got this done, so I'm just going to pick that up and drop that in. So whenever I get here, well, yeah, no, that probably shouldn't be centered because that doesn't make any sense. And actually, you know what? I'm going to turn off the guides just to make it everything a little bit easier to see. Let's take this in, center that up, drop that in. Okay, that works well. That's actually probably a little bit too big now we see. So we'll do that instead. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let magic move bring that in. I'm not going to do any animation to it. You could if you wanted to. But in this case, I feel like whenever it moves, I'm just going to let that just sort of fade in. It, it's nice. It's responsive. It's fast. So again, now within just a couple minutes, one, two, we've got the text. Now again, just simply pick this up, copy and paste it, drop it into all the other ones, and you're really done. And so again, here's the finished file whenever you know, you've got all this done. And so this is what it's going to look like. Is just So it's just each of these featured through, and it's just that simple. Go through. Make the squares, hide the numbers in the back so that Keynote can keep track of them. Be able to do that. It's magic move. And again, all we're doing is just shifting those shapes. The one other little thing that you might want to be able to do is if your alignment, like can you see right there where the alignment isn't totally perfect? The other little trick you can do too is on these, whenever it gets to be a little bit bigger, see how I made the background there purple? That's just to hide any gaps so that in animating this, if these don't stay totally tight to each other, then that's all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use that little background color to hide it. So again, there are other little tips and tricks like that, but that's really it is just go through, be able to do those magic moves, do the, do those numbers on the labels. Cause again, that's probably more of the magic than the magic move. And within a couple of minutes, you get a really nice, and in this case, reusable agenda slide, because now whenever you do it, change the colors, change the text, change the icons. But again, this motion's already done. So I've got the hard work already done. A few simple you know, tweaks to that. I've got a great reusable template I can use over and over again. Well, as always, it's just that simple. Hopefully that was helpful. And hey, look, if you like this content, remember, this is a YouTube channel and a podcast. For the crazy one, we have over 100 episodes around all sorts of content, around creativity, leadership, design. And if you like this content, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell so you get more content like this whenever it comes out. Keep an eye out for more videos like this. Check out the ones we've got that I've already done. And hey, as always, stay crazy.